What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new video on this channel and Halloween Horror Nights is literally just around the corner and that being said let's talk about some of the tickets that have gone up for sale for a while and discuss which tickets right for you. So in this video we're going to talk about all the different ticket options and I'm going to give you guys some information on maybe what tickets right for you and maybe what you should get depending on your circumstance. So without further ado let's start the video. First up, we're going to talk about single night tickets, and what single night tickets are are exactly what they sound. They are tickets that allow you into one night of the event that goes on this year. Now there are different options for the single night ticket, with two of which are brand new to this year, and those are the Fan Preview Nights, which is a new addition to Universal ticket options. Now what the Fan Preview Night is, is basically the night before Halloween Horror Nights actually opens, so on September 12th. Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights is inviting people to come in and check out everything that they've been working on and basically just kind of test it out for before you know the event actually opens and this event is super cool because it's going to have exclusive things to the fan preview night such as different photo ops, probably different food options, a live DJ, so on and so forth. So there's a lot of amenities to the fan preview night uh, so definitely it's something worth checking out. Uh, so the Fan Preview Night single admission ticket is actually going to run you about $70 online right now and it, it's interesting because it's, it's a brand new ticket option and it's definitely for one of those for some of the diehard fans of Halloween Horror Nights it's definitely a ticket just to check out what Horror Nights has been working on all last year or all this year. <laughs> the next ticket option under the single night ticket is the Fan Preview Night with Universal Express. So for some of the people that you know maybe you want to make sure that you're going to run through all the mazes this year because this year is there are going to be a lot of mazes there is universal with uh, the fan preview night ticket with universal express now what the universal express does is basically gives you priority access to every maze every show every attraction at least one time so every, yeah every maze every show every attraction you get front of the line basically um, but it's only once, so you gotta make it count, and then afterwards you basically just got regular general admission to the event. And what this ticket is good for is for anybody who wants to make sure that they get all the mazes done this year, and this year's obviously more mazes than ever, so some for somebody who wants to make sure maybe they're visiting out of town or out of state, wants to make sure that they get all of the mazes done, this is probably the ticket to go to, also if you're planning on going to the fan preview night. So also new to this year is that they've completely gotten rid of general admission at, at Halloween Horror Nights. So now the very basic low tier that you ticket that you can get is general admission with plus 4 p.m. early entry. And what this ticket basically means is with the purchase of your Universal Halloween Horror Nights tickets, you actually get to experience the daytime park uh, after 4 p.m. So the event actually doesn't begin till 7 o'clock. But Universal Halloween Horror Nights is doing, and I think this is amazing, uh, you actually get to go in and experience, you know, some of the attractions that won't be open. So for example, Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, uh, you can go check out the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and stuff like that. Stuff that isn't going to be open during the Horror Nights event. So you get to go check those out beforehand, maybe get in line later on if you want to do like, um, uh, you want to watch the opening ceremony or you want to head out to the back lot and wait for uh, the actual event to begin. And these tickets are gonna cost you around 67 to $77, somewhere around that price point depending on the day that you choose to go to the event. Obviously weekends are gonna be a lot more expensive and the tickets that are like midweek, like Wednesdays, Thursdays are a little bit more on the cheaper side. This year also, something that they've added, there is no general admission with Universal Express Pass, at least as of this video recording. They might update the different ticket prices later on because of course right now we are in pre-sale. That's something obviously important to make note of. But basically, uh, the last ticket in the single night ticket uh, option is the general admission with a special Universal Express. Now this might seem <laughs> Like it's the Universal Express that allows you to go through all the mazes, but it is not, unfortunately. So this ticket's roughly gonna cost you around 67 to $77 as well, depending on what day you go. So basically what that means is you still get general admission to Halloween Horror Nights, but during the event, while the event's going on, 
you have early or Universal Express access to Jurassic World. So obviously Jurassic World is a new ride that they open at Universal Studios Hollywood and it is the reincarnation or the evolution of the Jurassic Park ride which we actually just got to ride which is incredible. Um, so you get to experience that without waiting in line because you have the Universal Express. And to me this seems like the weakest of all the general or the single night ticket options. Um, I honestly if you're going to go to one I would recommend either no I would probably recommend the general admission with the 4 p.m. early entry that way you can experience Jurassic World ride during the early 4 p.m. maybe even if it has a long line but like even then like from 4 to 5 you can probably wait in that line and ride Jurassic World and then you can ride something else like Harry Potter or something like that um, and then experience Horror, Horror Nights instead of just buying the General Admission Horror Nights plus the Jurassic World. I think the 4 p.m. one's a better option, but maybe somebody who doesn't care about anything else that Universal has and just wants to check out Jurassic World while they're at Horror Nights. Uh, so maybe this is a good option for them. Um, I definitely, for me, I think this is the weakest of the other ticket options. Uh, I, for me, I would offer, I would recommend you either get the one, the General Admission with the early 4 p.m. entry or get the fan preview with the Universal Express or just go to fan preview night which seems like a really fun and exciting thing. So with all these single night tickets finally out of the way let's cover some of the brand new passes that are coming to this year's Halloween Horror Nights event. Now this year we actually have four different passes that range from different uh, days of accessibility for the event and each one is pretty special and has little certain perks and stuff like that. So let's go over those. So starting off with the very top tier is the Ultimate Fear Pass, which runs about $300 and allows you to come into the park, or it allows you to come into Halloween Horror Nights every night that it's going on. So that is 32 days of Halloween Horror Nights goodness. Now this is obviously, I would recommend this ticket for somebody who lives locally. So someone who's maybe five, 10 minutes away from Universal or like a 30 minute drive and loves this Horror Night event, this is probably gonna be the ticket for you if you're like a diehard. Evan, I'm looking at you. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely uh, a really good ticket for somebody who loves the event and wants to come and experience it every single day. Underneath the Ultimate Fear Pass is actually the Frequent Fear Pass with the Fan Preview Night. Now this ticket is roughly gonna cost you around $200. This is probably the ticket that I'm gonna be aiming on going for. And what this ticket does, it allows you to go into Fan Preview Night, which is on September 12th, and it also gives you uh, 25 days of Halloween Horror Nights. Now the blackout dates vary, but it allows, so in total you're actually going 26 days because you get Fan Preview Night, but it's still a lot of Halloween Horror Nights and Definitely for the price of $200, definitely worth it. Because the general ticket's about $67 to $77. So definitely, if you go as much as, you know, as we do, uh, this ticket is definitely worth it. And especially if you want to experience that fan preview night, definitely recommend this pass. So the pass underneath the Frequent Fear Plus fan preview is just the basic Frequent Fear pass. Now this pass gives you 25 days of Halloween Horror Nights goodness. The blackout dates vary, so you want to check that blackout day list for all the options. But yeah, this is a this is a pass, obviously, for somebody who wants to experience Halloween Horror Nights, but doesn't want to experience frequent uh, the fan preview night. Um, obviously, the fan preview night might not be for everybody, depending on the day or the time, something like that, and so forth. So, but if you want to experience Halloween Horror Nights multiple times and not have to worry about missing out on everything, this is probably the pass that you should go for. So this ticket actually runs about $180. So definitely worth it for, you know, 25 days of Halloween Horror Night goodness. And the very last ticket option that Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights is offering this year is the September Pass. And what the September Pass is, it allows you to go to Halloween Horror Nights every day in September. Now, this might be for somebody who wants to experience the event multiple times, uh, but doesn't necessarily want to pay $180 for the full experience. There are quite a few days in September. I believe you're experiencing about 11, you, or you get access to Halloween Horror Nights for about 11 days. So that is still a lot of time to experience Halloween Horror Nights. So definitely, I would recommend this ticket if somebody wants to experience the event multiple times, but doesn't have the money either to 
afford a bigger pass or maybe just doesn't you know you don't want to go in october maybe you got other things to do maybe you're going in scary farm or you have commitments with something else i don't know that's up to you this ticket is going to run you about 110 dollars so definitely a very cheap option if you want to experience halloween horror nights on multiple days so now that we've gotten through pretty much all the different ticket options from the single night tickets to the different passes let's talk about some of the ticket options that are available to the past members of universal studios hollywood such as myself unfortunately this year there aren't a lot of options for past members the only type of discount that we're getting are on the general admission with the express for universal or for jurassic world and the general admission with the early 4 p.m entry and you're only saving a couple bucks from those tickets so it takes the ticket from 66 to 77 dollars to 62 to 72 dollars so just a few dollars but hey money's money am i right um other than that there pretty much is no other discount for the past members so sorry every other past member except the platinum past member who also who gets a free ticket to howling horror nights so yeah that, that kind of sucks and now what would i offer somebody who is attending universal halloween horror nights so i would say that if you're somebody who's visiting the event and only has one time to go and maybe you're visiting out of state or something like that i would recommend getting the general admission with the 4 p.m early entry that way you get to experience some of universal studios uh while the park still open so despicable me uh, the tram ride, um, Harry Potter, you experience all that stuff and then experience Halloween Horror Nights. For somebody who maybe doesn't care about Universal Studios and just wants Halloween Horror Nights, I would cough up the money and go for the um, either the Fan Preview Night or the Fan Preview Night with the Frequent Fear, or um, my bad, the Fan Preview with the Universal Express because definitely um, there are a lot of mazes this year, and if you want to make sure to cover all those mazes and get through them all, um, definitely get that Universal Express, because that'll pretty much cut your wait time in half to basically nothing, because you'll just probably walk right into the mazes. So, definitely an option for somebody who just wants to get all of Halloween Horror Nights done. For, you know, the Southern California locals who are within maybe 30 minute to an hour drive away, I would recommend the Frequent Fear Pass. Um, you know, it's a good it's a good deal, 180 bucks, not bad. If you are like me, who wants to attend the fan preview night, um, just because you know we love all things Halloween Horror Nights, I would go for the Frequent Fear with the uh, uh, the uh, fan preview night. Uh, 200 bucks ain't that bad as opposed to 180. You get an extra day for about 20 bucks, so. Not bad, and you get to be of the few people that get to say, I went to the first fan preview night. So that's pretty cool. Um, other than that, I mean, if you're a diehard Halloween Horror Nights fan, you know you're gonna go at least 30 times, or maybe even 15, I don't know. I would, I guess I would go for the ultimate fear. Um, definitely not a ticket that I'll be going for, but there are people who will pay this money to go every single day of Halloween Horror Nights. And there you have it. We have now covered every single ticket and you guys have heard some of my advice on buying tickets. Um, I hope you guys found this video super informational and I hope I helped you guys decide on what ticket to get for this event. I'd love to know what ticket do you guys plan on getting? I plan on getting the Fan Preview Night plus Reaping Fear, but what are you guys getting? Let me know. And also let me know what maze you're excited for at this year's event. We only have five that have been told so far, but uh, obviously the, the more announcements are coming in so far. So let me know what you guys are most excited for. Um, follow us on social media, TLV Media and Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, please, it means a lot. Uh, I've been Josue, I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Woo!